I thought the unboxing that I did at the beginning of the week was going to be the biggest unboxing of the week, if not the month, but I was wrong. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I've got an insane amount of packages. In fact, let me just grab them and show you guys how many we've got. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. There we go. Damn it. You get the idea. It's a lot. So over the last week, I have been inundated with packages, some of which I know what they are, some of which I don't, one of which I'm very excited about because it's a pair of Air Jordan 1s that I'm just excited to see in person. To be honest, you might want to stay tuned throughout the video because I may be giving that pair of sneakers away. But before we get into all of that and just jump into this insane unboxing, I have something really cool I want to show you guys. So as some of you may know, I started a sock brand with a good friend of mine from college called Apothecary, spelled A-P-T-H-C-R-Y. I don't always remember it. We probably should have Named it something a little bit simpler. But because of the fact that I got married and also we wanted to make this next drop just the most insane drop ever, we haven't had a drop for the last couple weeks. But I'm excited to announce that after months of working on this particular line, we are finally launching our reflective collection. I think by far this is probably the coolest collection we've ever made and probably ever will make. And the reason I say that is because three out of the four socks that we're dropping have reflective 3M material on them. I'm not kidding. The apothecary logo on the shin and the high stakes logo on the toe both reflect. It's just insane that we could actually do that on a pair of socks. As you can see, the colors that we're dropping are green reflective, orange reflective, black reflective, which personally is my favorite, and then for all you normies out there, a pair of white and blue socks, which still has the same logo placement, but isn't reflective. I shouldn't have said for all you normies. This is genuinely a really nice sock, and out of the four socks that I have, this is the one that I've been wearing the most out of the collection. Unlike with our previous drops, we're not doing early access, or at least not like an hour before, maybe maybe 10 minutes before, but we wanna give everyone a really good chance at grabbing a pair of these socks, and we've also increased the stock a little bit just so you guys actually have a shot. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome that all our collections have sold out but it definitely sucks to get messages from people who really wanted a pair of socks and were just never able to grab a pair. So this time around we're doing as much as we possibly can so that everyone who wants a pair of socks has a good chance at grabbing a pair of socks. If you're trying to grab any of the socks from our reflective collection these socks drop on Friday August 21st at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Also it does not hurt to follow Apothecary on Instagram which I've linked in the top of the description below. I'm seriously so stoked on this collection we've been working on it for a long time and I've just never seen reflective socks before. I'm sure there's like some obscure brand out there that's done them but I feel like this is probably the dopest reflective pair of socks ever. But with all of that out of the way, let's get right into the unboxing. So like I said, I only know what like two of these things are. I know we've got some sneakers here because we've got the Just Do It box. So obviously sneakers. We've got the Jordan ones down there. Um, and then we've got three other mystery packages. So why don't we bust into the biggest one? I feel like that's probably not the right way to do it. We should probably save it for last, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh man. <laughs> This is a big boy. So in true Seth Fowler unboxing fashion, I can't find Scary Knife anywhere. It's been months and that's even scarier because I'm afraid it's gonna show up in my bed one day. I have no idea. Um, so instead I'm gonna use Scary Pen, which isn't really scary. I just wanted to call it something other than just a pen. The one thing that I've gotta say is kinda cool about this box in particular is that it's got SF on the side. Can you guys see it right there? Nope, right there, for Seth Fowler. So you know this box is probably pretty cool or it's a Chinese shipping company. I don't know which one it is. I just broke the pen. Who could have seen that coming? Okay, uh, great. Let's just rip it. Oh, we've got some Fila stuff. So I completely forgot this stuff was coming. Fila reached out a couple weeks ago and told me that they wanted to send me some tennis stuff. So first thing out of the box, we've got what looks to be a Fila Wilson collab backpack. That's actually pretty sick. So like I said, you can tell by the logos, but this is a Wilson Fila collab bag. You've also got what looks like a little tag right there that says the same thing. And I'm assuming because of that, it's tailored for tennis in some way. Maybe you can put your uh, balls or something in here. I don't know. <laughs> your tennis balls. I don't know. Maybe you could put a racket. I don't know how you'd fit a racket in here, but maybe you can in some way. I haven't played tennis for... I went to a tennis summer camp one time when I was like probably 10. But that's the extent of my knowledge when it comes to tennis. <laughs> Inside the bag, you've got a bunch of packing stuff. you got a little laptop sleeve right back here, or iPad sleeve, whatever you want to throw in there. And then you've got your just main compartment and your side compartments. It's probably not for tennis gear, it's probably just for clothes and whatever you put in backpacks, but it's pretty cool. Thank you so much to Fila and Wilson for sending this over. Oh, oh no way. I think they sent over a Wilson racket. This is crazy light. Were rackets always this crazy light? Is this like a special edition racket? Oh, no way. Limited edition, number 22 of 300. So even if it's not like a special racket, it's a limited edition racket. Maybe it's just the colorway. I've been playing a lot of Mario Tennis, so at least, you know, I know some of the tennis terms, I guess, that are included in Mario Tennis, like backhand. That's about it. This is the Wilson Pro Staff 97L X Fila racket. 
So this is also a collaboration racket. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for this. This is sick. I'm actually going to try and use this. I'm actually going to go out to a tennis court or maybe try and find someone who plays tennis and verse them with that. And maybe, maybe because that racket's so dope, I'll do well. I don't know. More packing stuff. Ooh, what looks to be a jacket. This is a Wilson Fila jacket, it looks like. Let's see. Ooh. Yo, this is really, really nice. Oh, look at this hoodie. Oh, the material is really nice and stretchy too. It kind of feels like, um, like almost like scuba diver neoprene, except not water resistant, but very, very soft, very thin, probably good at wicking away sweat. It's also thin enough that you're probably never going to overheat in this hoodie either. Oh, of course, co-branded Wilson Fila tennis balls to go with my tennis racket. Damn, they are really outfitting me with like every piece of clothing. <laughs> I've got a Wilson Fila hat as well. Let's pull this out. Look at this. Look at that embroidery. The Wilson embroidery is like crazy thick in 3D. Should probably loosen this a little bit. After that, we've got some Wilson Fila socks in bright red. Very nice color, like that a lot. Man, all the apparel that's coming in this collection feels like super high quality. Like this shirt feels really, really nice. Actually, not only that, the logo is embroidered. You don't see that often on shirts, at least not low quality shirts. This is obviously not a low quality shirt. This is a high quality Wilson Fila shirt. Man, they are really hooking it up. I could go to a tennis court right now and look more pro than most of the people on that court. Shoot, it fell out of the bag already. But after that, we've got, oh, is this a pair of shorts? Dude, completely outfitted, 100%. The Wilson Fila shorts definitely seem like they're uh, above knee shorts. Not something I wear every day, but I could definitely rock this on the tennis court. Seriously, shout out to Fila and Wilson for this. This is a crazy collaboration. Okay, and then it looks like there's two other things in the box. Let's pull them out and see what they are. We've got what seems to be another shirt, this time in black. This is super nice. This would actually go with those shorts, too. If you really wanted to match it up, you've got some shorts and a t-shirt right there. And then it looks like they also sent... Is this another pair of shorts? Except in white? No way. Another pair of shorts. They seriously sent me two full outfits. The material on this pair of shorts, though, feels more like a ripstop. It feels a lot thinner, but like not in a bad way. It feels like something that you'd probably wear if you're playing tennis specifically. The other shorts feel more like just standard shorts. Huge thank you to Wilson and Fila for sending this stuff out. This stuff is incredible. I'm super thankful, and uh, I'm ready to play some tennis. Come at me, tennis players. Roger Federer. Okay, next up, I've got two like flat type packages. I'm not sure which either one is from. But uh, let's start with the small one. What did I just use to open the last box? Nothing. That's right, I used my hands. Uh, great. The key is just finding the end of the tape. Oh, nice! It's from Stadium Goods. I'm assuming this is some of their new apparel because obviously I don't think a pair of shoes could fit in here, at least not a men's size pair of shoes. <laughs> so let's pop this open, see what we've got. First things out of the box, we've got a note. It says, Hey Seth, thanks for all your support. Please enjoy this new Stadium Goods gear. Your friends at Stadium Goods. Thank you guys so much for that, that's awesome. Let's start with the socks. It looks like we've got five pairs of socks. We've got black, yellow, tan, wow, there's a lot, <laughs> purple, and blue. I'm set with Stadium Goods socks, that's crazy. Okay, next thing, we've got a Stadium Goods shirt. Let's pull this out. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I've been wearing a lot of Stadium Goods stuff recently because they keep sending me stuff, and I actually really like it. In fact, this isn't even planned. I'm wearing a pair of Stadium Goods sweatpants right now. Shout out to Stadium Goods for that one. I don't think I even featured that pair in a video. I think I just got it between videos at one point. But this is a Stadium Goods long sleeve in bright orange that says, we in this together, Stadium Goods. Oh, actually, that's really cool. It's sort of like a survival graphic on the back. You've got how to make a mask. You've got uh, some constellation charts, American Morse code. I could actually go camping in this and be good to go. This is all the instructions that I need. This is sick. Thank you guys so much for this. Oh, so apparently the shirt is not the only thing with the survival guide on it. At the bottom it says, spread love, not COVID. Stay at home. It says, no sew face mask. Supplies needed, one bandana, two hair ties, or rubber bands. And it tells you how to fold it. Okay, and then finally, the last thing inside the box, we've got another Stadium Goods t-shirt. I love this Stadium Goods logo. It's in pink. I think that looks incredible. And then on the back, my favorite part, the same logo except in a pink box with white text. The next thing that we've got seems to be a large long box that may be from Amazon. Not 100% sure. Again, no knife, no nothing. I didn't run off and grab scissors like I should have in between takes, but it is what it is. What is... Oh! Oh! I really thought that this was going to be something um, that I had bought for a video, but no, it's, it's a sport jacket. <laughs> for some reason I had some men's warehouse credit and I bought a sport coat. Uh, and this was not supposed to be in the video at all. So we're just, well, you know what, screw it. It's in the video. I'll just try it on. 
What's up? Enough of this. We're moving on to the next thing. I guess the shoes at this point, because I really, I really thought that was like a sole premise bag or something. I'm not kidding. I really thought it was something like sneaker related in some way. Okay, so the first pair of sneakers. Let's uh, find out the best way to open this guy. Well, I just kind of ruined the box, but it's cool. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Actually, for real though, this box is way smaller than I expected. Did they send me the right pair of shoes? Okay, I've never seen this pair of shoes come in a box this small before. That's crazy. So as you can see around the outside of the box, we've got some Volt Green. We've got Nike Air right there on the top and then some white hits around the sides. Let's pop the top, see if they sent me the right pair of sneakers and they did. Weird box. So this is obviously the Air Max 90 in Volt Green. This pair released, I think months ago at this point, a long time ago. And uh, I just decided to grab it recently because I was looking for a pair of Volt shoes actually to match with the socks. But now that I'm seeing it in person, it's not, it's not gonna match with the socks. Actually, it would match really nicely with the black socks. Check that out. Look at that fit. Look how dope that fit is. This is a solid fit. No, but in all seriousness, these are really, really clean. One of my favorite pairs of sneakers in my collection are the infrared Air Max 90s. It's just a classic pair of shoes. It's extremely comfortable. My infrared pair is getting like stupid dirty. I needed an upgrade um, and I felt like the Volt pair was close enough and it's something that I could definitely rock on a regular basis. I know there is another pair of infrareds probably coming out later this year, but I didn't want to wait. It's only 120 bucks. Like, it's not the most expensive pair of sneakers in the world, and I'm gonna rock this pair like every other day, so I felt like, you know, it's worth it. Seriously though, these Air Max 90s are super clean. I love the Nike Air tag on the side. This is just gonna be a great everyday pair of shoes, for sure. What's this? Anatomical arch supports. So apparently you can put these inside your shoe where you need arch support. I've never seen this before. I don't even know how to use this. I've gotta say though that they definitely look mashed from that box. Like that box was not doing these shoes any favors. Why would they go with such a smaller box? I feel like that's just weird. Every other pair of Air Max 90s I've ever owned has had a regular box. Is this like the same size as the OG box? I have no idea. I don't like it, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay, onto the final package that we're unboxing today, and this is the exciting one. So inside this box that I'm definitely not gonna be able to open, we have an awesome pair of Jordan 1s that I'm not sure how to feel about yet because I just wanna see it in person before I make any judgments, but it's actually a pair of shoes that we may or may not be giving away, we're giving it away. I'm giving away this pair of shoes. I'm just gonna use the pen again, see what happens. Broke the pen even more than I did before, great. You probably guessed, but this is a pair of Air Jordans that I've actually never owned and probably won't own unless I really love it seeing it in this box and then maybe I just won't do the giveaway maybe I'll just keep it for myself who knows so you may be able to tell what pair of Jordan ones this is just from the color scheme of the outside of the box but you've got this sort of like semi gloss gray covering a majority of it and then this almost metallic silver Nike logo on pretty much every side of the box this is a size 9 because I wanted to be able to review it and then give it away and it is a neutral gray metallic silver colorway so you guys probably already know what this is like I said this is the first time I'm seeing this pair so I'm really excited to check it out You've got the GOAT information, all sort of good stuff. And then you've got the paper, which is actually really cool and says 2001 and then has a Jumpman and then it says 2020. The more that the anticipation builds, the more that I kind of wish I hadn't missed out on this pair of shoes. But let's just open it. Let's see what we've got. There it is. Look at this. So this is the Air Jordan 1 Co.JP in neutral gray and it released over in Tokyo I think in like 2020 pairs in this really crazy exclusive like metal suitcase which I thought was really cool but then we got a release stateside in just a normal box as you guys saw or I guess not really normal but it's like a similar box to the standard Jordan 1 box except for the color. However the shoes themselves I believe are the same pairs that released in Japan so I don't think they're numbered or anything like that but I've got to say in person. In person, they look really, really nice. Nicer than I expected. But annoyingly, now that I have them in hand, I really feel like I kind of want a pair. This is so frustrating. I hate when this happens. So I'm probably going to do a full review on this sneaker in the next couple days, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But because of that, I'm not really gonna go like super in depth on this sneaker, but I will call out some of my favorite features. So first things first, you've got this really nice low pile neutral gray suede, which I didn't realize was suede when I saw it in images online. I thought it was just leather, but it looks really, really nice. The color accent on this shoe is obviously metallic silver leather, which is really nicely tumbled around the heel and I guess a little bit around the top of the wing. And something that I'm actually just noticing now is that the Wings logo on this shoe is not your standard Wings logo. It comes in this sort of like bubbled out clear Wings logo, which is something that you only really see on patent leather Jordans and I guess special edition Jordans. And to be fair, this is kind of a special edition Jordan, so it's no surprise to see it here. I usually don't mind it, but I don't think it looks bad on this shoe and it definitely adds a level of interest to the upper of this sneaker. Another kind of interesting touch is that the tongue comes in this light gray tumbled leather instead of your standard neoprene material. And instead of having a tag at the top of the tongue, you've just got Nike Air embroidered in in the same sort of light gray that you have on the rest of the sneaker. Actually, the sock liner is different too. It's super nicely padded. It feels really, really nice, and it comes in this very sort of 
soft fabric material. And then one final detail that I'm going to call out is the insole of the shoe. You've got a Jumpman and then the co.jp text printed on the heel in white. It's a nice look. It definitely differentiates this shoe from other pairs of Jordan 1s. I think overall it's a lot cleaner than I ever could have expected. But now that we've got the unboxing out of the way, let me tell you how you can win this exact pair for yourself. The rules to enter this giveaway are really simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Follow me on Instagram at RealSethFowler. Follow Apothecary on Instagram at Apothecary. And of course, follow the co-founder Osman at OCCMan on Instagram. And then go to the picture that I just posted of this shoe on my Instagram and comment done underneath. I know it's a lot of steps, but they're not hard to do and I've linked all the links that you need in the top of the description. This Air Jordan 1 Co.JP giveaway will run for exactly one week from right now, right when this video went live, till next Saturday, and the winner will be picked on Sunday, August 23rd. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Good luck, and thank you so much for entering. But with that, we wrap up the entire video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.